वेलकम टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ रेडियो एक्सेस नेटवर्क रैन सो लेट्स रिकैप फ्रॉम प्रीवियस सेशन सो वी हैव दिस 2G 3G मोबाइल आर्किटेक्चर वेयर अ मोबाइल व्हेन अ मोबाइल इज मेकिंग अ कॉल फर्स्ट इट रीचेस द बेस स्टेशन ट्रांसीवर थ्रू एयर इंटरफेस एंड द कॉल फ्रॉम बीटीएस इज प्रोसेस्ड एंड इट गोस टू base station controller and then the mobile switching center and so on to the PSTN and uh, the same way we have for a 3G network I mean a mobile is call is made it goes to the node B and the RNC radio network controller and the other network core network elements so this network uh, is divided into two parts as we discussed last time radio access network ran which is a combination of a bts base station transceiver and base station controller in case of 2g network whereas in case of 3g network it's a combination of node b and then the radio network controller and the remaining network falls under a core network so in general the telecom mobile communications are split up into three domains one is the mobile or the user equipment uh, the devices such as smartphones tablets etc falls under user equipments and the second part which we just discussed is a radio access network where the combination for bts and then the bsc and uh, the node b and the rnc and the core network which is connected uh, to a ran and uh, the connection between the ran to the core network is uh, through a transport network which can be either microwave link or the optical network so in today's session so let's talk about a uh, base station transceiver in detail so and this is a, just a recap of again uh, how uh, the base station and the antennas are placed so here we have a base station placed inside the tower and which is connected to the antenna through the rf cables radio frequency cables and there are there is also a microwave link antenna which is used as a back call uh, to connect connect to the core network okay so in this uh, slide we see the base station base station transceiver which is nothing but uh, shortly termed as bts here in this example we are taking an example of ericsson bts where you see uh, the th three units like a baseband unit which is uh, also termed as digital unit in the diagram the radio unit and uh, it, there is also a side power mentioned okay so before uh, getting into the uh, technical details of uh, what each unit uh, does so before that uh, let's talk about the side power so in general all the telecom uh, network equipments uh, uses a direct current which is a dc uh, which is minus uh, 48 volts uh, so in this case also uh, the it is powered uh, by a side power it will be connected uh, so all the, the dc power will be connected to the base station and from the, this uh, side power the distribution of uh, power to the, all the units in, uh, including radio digital is being transmitted from the side power and uh, say uh, Uh, now let's talk about a, a call that uh, that is coming when a, a mobile call is made so mobile uh, so the call reaches the RF antenna through the air interface and then from uh, the antenna from the antenna to the base station it comes through a RF cable 
radio frequency cable and that first it reaches the radio unit so the radio unit is, it is uh, capable of con converting the ZARF signals to a digital information and then taking to the taking it to the baseband unit and it also is capable of converting the digital information back to a RF signals so uh, talking about a baseband unit so when the signal is converted from a radio unit or from RF signal to a digital and converted and then it is fed to a baseband pro unit it process it is uh, it asks a set of uh, digital processing functions which uh, process the signals coming from multiple antennas and also has uh, detecting and correcting the errors in the wireless transmission and also ensures uh, transmission is secure and managing the uh, wireless resources efficiently and more so once the data is processed so it is uh, fed to a, a transmission unit so the transmission unit is connected at through the microwave link or a optical link that connects to the core network or the uh, base station controller which resides in the customer network operation center so usually for example in uh, let's take an example of Airtel where the Airtel office which is uh, called as network operation center as this uh, base station controller mobile switching center everything placed in their knock and uh, when, the call, uh, the, when the call is processed uh, from the base station it is transmitted to the to the base station using this transmission unit you either using this micro multiple multi hop uh, microwave links that we discussed in a previous session if you have doubts you can go back to the uh, part one and then refer uh, or the op other option is through optical link so optical link through uh, to the core, core network yeah thank you